what's up everybody finally back with that first hunt video of 2020 i apologize it took so long but let's get into it all right so as far as hunting today i don't really have much uh targets i want to get i do want to find the uh hopefully they have some of the diamond collection uh cruella de Vils that recently came out i'm hoping to find that uh, at least scorpion from the mortal Kombat line i'm not really like digging the mortal Kombat line that much i do like that it's the old school classic designs but i'm i never was a fan of raiden nor Liu kang sub-zero's kind of cool but scorpions i have to get uh, i wish they did you know the classic goro from the old video games or the old movie um i mean those those two things the scorpion and cruella hopefully we find those and maybe a troll i'm looking for the rainbow troll rainbow troll rainbow troll why is this so hard to say anyways let's go in here and see what we can find all right so it looks like they got the new line of mandalorian pops in these are pretty awesome i like the q90 the jawa and this stormtrooper these these three is my picks i'm probably not going to get them today so let's go ahead head over to that funko wall all right so here we are right out the gate i haven't seen this in person but this looks awesome really love this gizmo Looks like they got a couple of the new Mulan ones. I really want the Mushu. They got uh, Li Shang and Mulan. There's Sub Zero. There's the Scorpion. So I think I'm gonna pick that up. Let's see what else they got. Oh, they do have Merciless Batman. Didn't get that one. There it is. There's what I wanted, so I'll get that. Maybe this. I thought the show was good, but not all that. So you got some discounted pops. Be interesting. There we go. I flocked Smokey the Bear. That's another good one. They've just had so many good ones since I haven't been here. So here's all their clearance stuff. Steam. There's Doug Finney up there. So like the Young Bucks. Don't care. There's a Corella for $6. It's a nice one. I'm gonna go through this and I'll show you guys in a minute. All right, everybody, so digging through here, I found something nice. The pop gods are shining down on me. Gotta get it. All right, so I'm so excited that I found this Vanya, the Chase Vanya. I'm super stoked about that. So I'm debating on which one I'm gonna put back or just get them all. But now, let's take our chances with Harley Quinn. Let's see if we can find a chase in here. I know he's got a chase. So, there's one right there. No, dang it. Well, it was worth a shot. Anyway, at the Birds of Prey area. I do like this Harley Quinn. But, I don't know. Cause I, don't, I just don't need a bunch of different Harley Quinns. What's a good Harley Quinn? Okay, we got roller derby, caution tape. Okay, no, that's not it. That's the battle, caution tape. Hmm. I like this one. I think I'm keep thinking on the Harley Quinns, but definitely, so far, Vanya and Scorpion. Let's keep looking. Here we are at GameStop. Let's go and see what they got. All right, so walking in, here's the wall right here. Some Christmas stuff still here. And if you look over there on the table, there's some 50% off pop. So, let's jump right in. There we go. That's a half to get. That's a really good one. There's that Raiden. So we got Captain Marvel. There's a troll. If I find the rainbow troll, it's mine. Bill and I. I feel like I should get this, but I'm not sure yet. Got the tiger, the Luke Kang. Okay, 
but luckily I already have this. Another Raiden. Black Canary. Yeah. Oh, here's the GameStop exclusive troll. There it is. <sighs> now that I have it in my hands, I don't know. Let's keep looking. Purge. I finally got the Purge ones in. I feel like those are a bit late. All might. The new Mandalorian line. Tupac. God, they're just killing me right now. I don't see much else. Here's buy through, get one free, so I might. So right here. Got the little awesome statues. These things are cool. I'm not into, I'm not an anime fan, but that's still pretty cool. Looks like these are the 50% off clearance pops. Like big one game stuff. Huh? Yeah, Virginia, you're working 120 hours by yourself. Sure can. Sure can. It's going to be one heck of a paycheck. I'll do it. I'll still cry in person. Well, I guess Brian's going to have to be a. Alright, here's the clearance section. I always run through here just in case there's something that we need. For the Legends fans, some journals, There's not really much, really anything at all I need. <sighs> Those are cool. Got a little five star Hellboy in here. Ooh, caught that. over here Let's see so we have the sub-zero that somebody has opened the what do you call it a monkey or spider monkey or something like that I forgot that scene so that venom we got superior octopus she hulk she hulk this figure is awesome. Oh, I like the Harley Quinn. We got some of the Dark Phoenix Funko Pop shirts with pops, more Hero Academia stuff, Overwatch pops, it's like Magic the Gathering stuff over there, Pokemon. Not really much else. These awesome statues. I do like this. I thought this was cool. The, the Stay Puff right here. I thought that was nice. Let's see what's over here. Got some plushes. I, th I thought that was dashy. Different shade of skin. Dashy. Okay, here we go. Some awesome pop. Oh! Oh! Nice. Nice. If this falls into that category, I'm definitely getting this. I'm going to go ask him about this. All right, so just getting out of GameStop. Decided to get one thing only. All right, so we're in Walmart. Let's go check out them pops. All right, so here we are in the NECA section. Get the Chucky. Who is this? Ash, Evil Dead, Terminator, Jason. I got the new line. I feel like Walmart's never gonna get the new line of ter tiny tears, tuny tears. I'm sorry. So what we got here frosted o's. It's cute. Let's get that. My hero. Some amiibos. Oh, these look kind of cool. Bandai. Got the office. 
Slump Funko Seth in the prized possession of any Funko section, the wall. Or the Great Hunt. Don't need Tiger. Don't need that. Don't need that. Nope, don't need that. I feel like this is gonna be nothing. I don't have her. So far I see no titles and no people I need. She's got some cool six inch ones. What's in this? Well, if anybody has one of these, tag me in it, please. That's all for this Funko area. Let's, uh, well, let's go to the next place. All right, so just got out of Walmart. As you've seen, there's nothing in there. Uh, we got one more stop that we're gonna call it a quits. It's been a good hunt. I found plenty, plenty of pops. I didn't get them all. Uh, I just got the ones that was most important to me. And, you know, Got one more stop. Don't know if we're going to find anything or not. So let's go check it out and fingers crossed. Doo -doo -doo. Here we are, game exchange. Fingers crossed. Here we go. They got a pretty good selection of trade ins. Do not know which one I want. There are some good ones though. Okay, so just left Game Exchange. Uh, I gotta head back to Walmart. I forgot to get cat food. So we're gonna go there, and the GameStop is right there next to Walmart, so I'm probably gonna turn back around and go check that out also. Uh, Game Exchange is okay, but their, their pops are marked up, and I refuse to pay more than a pop's worth. I'm even wearing the hoodie, so I can't buy something that's priced more than what it's worth. So we're gonna circle back to that GameStop and I think I'm changing my mind on something, so let's go. GameStop round two for Indecisive Funko Hunter. All right, everybody, we're back in the car and that does it. Now we are going to head home. So I know I said the video was done, but I gotta pick something up for the channel. So I figured while we're in Norman, we are gonna go ahead and take a look around, see if we can find some more pops. Let's go. All right, so here we are at the Funko wall. This goose. Um, <laughs> They really Smile. downsize what they have. I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting nervous now around the goose. So there, there's not much okay. to look okay. at. Okay. And that's the kind of great to can't really see anything we need. So I mean, uh, all the money I mean I'm literally showing you everything they have. Thanks for considering it. Oh boy, I'll be I don't see anything yeah. I need. Awesome. But uh oh. I will make you look to a Betty White. Happy birthday, Betty White. Here we got Ninja Turtles. That's a cool looking predator figure. They do have the. Okay, they don't have the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for Michael Myers currently. Oh. Well, I think it's gonna do it here for, as far as Funko Pops, but uh, I'm gonna keep looking and see if I can find what I was looking for for the channel. So Target didn't have what we needed, so off to the next place we go. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I'm doing. I'm currently looking for a microphone, not for not to put on the camera uh, when I'm out hunting, but for audio, for better audio for you guys when I'm at home filming, like at the desk and doing my reviews, you know, the, the unboxing, showing you guys what I picked up at the in the hunt so that that's what I'm doing right now I'm parked outside of a Best Buy and we're about to go in and check it out see if they have anything good Target had um, they had one but it was like a a little cheap microphone not what I'm looking for right now I'm leaning more toward the Blue Yeti blackout so hopefully they got one I'm I know there's I'm right now I'm just comparing prices because I know Target's got it for like 109 so I'm gonna go in here and see what they got it for and um, you know, save a couple Funko Pop dollars also, we're going to check out the pops in here, if they have any. Anyway, let's go. So, no luck here. Um, they, they didn't even have pops or, or Marvel Legends for me to show you guys. 
uh, so I apologize about that. But uh, they did have a few microphones that were good. I didn't find the one I wanted personally, so we are going to another store. Uh, I believe it's 10 miles from here. Anyways, they, they showed me another location that has the microphone, so we're gonna go there and see if we can find it there. So let's get going. Best Buy number two, fingers crossed. All right, so it looks like we scored a little toy action. Got some Marvel Legends in here. There's also some behind me. Kind of just randomly there. Don't see anything important. More importantly, we have the Pops. See, looks like My Hero, Frozen 2, bunch of Fortnite, Crash, Mandalorian, Star Wars, the Aliens. I don't see anything that I can't live without. Right there. Nope. Yeah, nothing I can't live without. So let's go see if we can find that microphone. So when looking from afar, I look down the aisle and there is another wall of Funko Pops. And again, you know, not much we really want or need. The point is they got them. Bunch of quail, quail, quail. Wonder if they got a chase back here. Test my luck. So far, nothing and zip. No Teddy Rick chase. Well, at least we tried, right? Go ahead and fix this back before I leave. There we go. All right. Now, microphone hunt. Success. Got our microphone. There's a target right down the road. So we're gonna go there and do some Funko hunt. Super excited to get this microphone home and test it. But, well actually, there is a vintage stock right there. So we're gonna go over there first, check out their pops. Here we are in vintage stock. I do have some cool little collectibles and figures. I guess the ones in this case is the more expensive ones. I don't really see. This is the Marvel Legends that I always wanted. That. There's a couple of those. Got a few more looks like statues. And then we have our more expensive Funko Pops. This one is nice. This Beyond the Wall Jon Snow. I'd want that one. I don't want that Dwight right there. Other than that in there, maybe Pocahontas. Didn't really care too much for that. But this one right here. The paint, well no, I would've want that one. I don't know if y'all can see that, let me get a zoom in on that. That paint job on the chin is messed up. There we go. Yeah, they messed that up. No, I'd pass on that, hard pass on that. There's some more pops, these are there not put in the case ones these are probably the looks like all commons and really got some mickeys down there just don't see anything i can't live without there's some on sale that's a cool little set right there so we got over here this looks like your fortnite Lisa Simpson. I haven't started Walking Dead, but, well, collection. I've, I've seen the show. Just not a fan of what's on right now, but I would like the Ezekiel. I don't see much else in there. I guess we're in here. We can take a look at the more rare comics. I personally don't see anything I'd want. But it's still cool. It's like looking at history, you know? I 
I do like that. Right there, the Cryptozoic Man. Kevin Smith fan. Watch the show. Uh, what was the show? Comic Book Man. Yeah. They made that. Look like right behind us, there's a few more pops that I missed. I mean, nothing special, but they still look good. I see more collectibles over there, so we're going to work our way over there. Here we are. Give you the full wall. Looks like a lot of Star Wars Black Series, the three and three quarter inch. Looks like a couple Diamond Select figures. Got your DC collectibles. Not really. So Game of Thrones, who is it? Oh, Brienne of Tarth. I mean, I'm not much into any of these, but for you guys that are, set Jason and oh Chucky. Those are nice. Well, that pretty much does it in here. So we are gonna go to Target. They have some awesome stuff. Um, actually, I think I think I'm gonna get this. This is nice. I, I like this. I'm gonna get that. But really, what I wanted to show you guys is right here. <clears throat> Apparently, if you wave your hand over it, it's like it does some motions. This one too. But okay, so you do that. So I would, I would think somewhere when I do this, I'm choking the shit out of somebody. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the Funko Wall. All right, so here at the Funko Wall on Target, and this one has so much better selection. Like, I don't know if you see that. It's all back there. There's plenty down that way. Got a few ten inches. Well, that bottom row is kind of empty, but the rest of these, they have a selection to look at. Okay, got Dark Crystal, oh, there's those uh, Castaway Pops. They seem to be sticking around everywhere. Oh, there's that 10 inch Ezra everybody was going crazy for. I have still yet to find a Target that has the three pack. So honestly, Still want that. See anything I need? Let's see, nope. Don't see. Oh, get down here. Okay, looks like these are just pulled to the front to fill the holes. There's a few more back there, but let's keep looking. So like we got pocket pops. Do they only make two? No, there's Olaf. Okay, so, so we got Olaf, Elsa, Anna. The NECA figures, what do we got? Ooh, just the, that Godzilla looks awesome. That is sick. I do like that they did these. I remember when I bought Predator toys that was just like this. That's cool. Let's see, they got all the, well, a couple of the movie Predators. Not a single, not a single Toonie tear, but. Oh, oh Penny. Come on, focus, focus. Got a penny from Big Bang. If it wasn't 15 bucks a piece, I would get them, but not for that price. Looks like somebody's trying to steal the rentals. And the card stuff. So I guess that's it here as far as Funko Pop before I go. Are Pogs making a comeback? They're calling them Caps now? my brothers played I played it too but that was like way after they played it this is cool I actually have two Ziploc bags full of pogs at home so I wouldn't need that but that's awesome oh look 
they got a full starter pack. So it comes with a mat, four slammers, tubes, and 60 pogs. Oh, they are called pogs still. What's retro caps? Same thing, I guess. Anyway, I thought that was cool, so I wanted to show you. So this is legit Game HQ. Like, all games. Not a single pop inside, but if you love games, like these strategy type board games, that seems interesting. That's pretty cool. Anyways, the games here are like your strategy games. There's not video games, it's not like a GameStop or secondhand video game store. It's just really cool board games. And of course, they got magic stuff up here at the front counters. Uh, well, that dragon head's pretty sick. Right in there, looks like on the other side. It's the actual gameplay area. So they got a table set up. This place looks pretty awesome. I think my little brother would love this place. That pretty much sums it up here. So I'm gonna get going. Okay, so coming out of Game HQ, it wasn't really what uh, I was looking for personally. My little brother would love that store's whole slew of Magic the Gathering stuff. But uh, let's go on and get to the next place. All right, so we are approaching our last destination on this uh, hunt. This is really the last last stop we're gonna have on the video. Ooh. I got food on my, my hoodie. Anyways, uh, we're, we're stopping at Barnes & Noble last. Hopefully they have the thing. Uh, that'd be nice if I can get that. I, I'm not really a Fantastic Four fan, but I always did love Thing. Uh, you know, I don't know. I just, I was, as a kid, I was a fan of like the, the big, the big dudes, you know, Juggernaut, Hulk, Thing. You know what I'm saying? Abomination. But uh, yeah, we're gonna hit up this Barnes & Noble and see what we can find in there, so. I'll bring you guys back up as soon as we get in. All right, so let's make this quick because there's music playing and I have places to go. Ooh, number five. I wonder if there's a chase. Who's that? No. I do not want that. Don't really see much. Uh, that I want or need. Definitely not the thing. You know, I'm not showing y'all the full dig through, but I'm gonna dig through these quickly after I turn the camera off. Megan Markle. That's cool. A Ric Flair down there. A troll. Right here. Nope. Right. Oh, there he is. Definitely picking that up. So I think that's it in here. I'm gonna grab the thing and then we are gonna head out. Even Barnes and Noble picked up what we came for. Time to go home. Okay, so now we're home. Finally done with this video. It was it was an awesome hunt. Had a great time. Uh, trying out some the audio on the microphone. Uh, so if you if it's picking up other stuff, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still learning with it. So forgive me on that if it don't sound too good. If it sounds that bad, it won't make Final Cut. But anyways, starting with our hot topic pickups. I was able to get my Cruella de Vil. I'm probably gonna do a review on this. I really love this pop. It looks really good. I love the 101 Dalmatian, so I was awesome. I mean, I thought it was awesome that they made a Cruella de Vil and the Diamond Collection one. So, really, really like that one. Uh, I was gonna do my Vaulted vinyls, but when I had the, the headset on the uh, the microphone, it was picking up every bit of movement. Y'all probably hear me doing everything right now. But anyways. Uh, next, 
I was so excited when I found this. The Vanya, Vanya, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. I, I say Vanya. From uh, Umbrella Academy, I found the Chase just casually sitting behind the uh, behind the, the regular one. And uh, they said most likely somebody hit it there because they put it in front. But anyway, I was so excited to find this. This is get that focus in there. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. Ish. Anyway, y'all get the point. Y'all know who it is. Really, really excited about that one. Uh, GameStop. This is the one I decided to pick up. Um, I put everything else back. There was a. I had the Tupac there. I had the. Uh, what else was there? Get that glare. That glare is killing me. Anyway, I had the Tupac picked out. I had uh, Biggie. I wanted to get Offset. I really wanted to get Offset, but him, him uh, Quavo, their boxes were torn up, and the third member was the only one that had a decent box. I don't. I don't know what happened there. Uh, y'all seen me go to Vintage Stock. I showed y'all peek around there. Their stuff is just uh, way too overpriced for me, uh, to pay for that. So I circled back to GameStop, and I had to get this. I, I passed on it at first, and I was gonna, I was gonna settle with that. I was gonna be fine passing on this, but it's just too, too good a pop. What is wrong with this thing? Anyways, it is way too good a pop for me to pass up on it. There we go. Yeah, so I had to go back and get this. I still need the uh, lights and sounds Darth Vader, but I'm so happy I found this one. And last thing I picked up, pop wise, is this. Y'all seen them at Barnes and Noble? They had multiple ones, but it seems like I don't know if y'all can see this, but this side is kind of warped in, and on all the other boxes you can see up here in this corner, like it'll smash down. So I think that's what caused the the warping on most of the other ones. This one's not too bad, so I got this one. Uh, I didn't see any dings, any like in the corners or any folds, like it's been smashed. So I was fine with this one. I'm glad I found this one. Uh, there was oh scorpion. I know I said I wanted scorpion. I really do want scorpion, but uh, I couldn't find a decent box. Like the bubbles on all the bubbles. This part it was bothering me because they were all curved and not like squared up and flat so that bothered me and then the one that i found that was decent was smashed like box wise so uh yeah okay uh that's it with the the haul from this video bigger and better news i was voted in for the uh funko collector society i'm so thankful for that that's really awesome uh i just finished the hunt i just picked up thing and uh, like an hour later i got the notification for that and i'm I'm so thankful for that thank you guys that voted me in um uh, you know re really grateful i'm gonna this is gonna be my official my first official funko collector society video so super stoked about that guys uh that, that's gonna wrap it up i want to thank you for watching thank you for taking time to watch the first hunt of 2020 again i'm sorry it took so long but it's here so Thanks for watching, guys. Like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you know when I post more stuff. Follow me on Instagram at Springsteen Pops. And as always, guys, y'all have a good night.